The 31-19 New York Yankees travel to Canada to take on an AL East foe in the 17-31 Toronto Blue Jays. They sent out left-hander Mark Burley onto the bump, 3-5 on the season, with a 3.22 ERA and nine games started. Top of the first inning, Jacoby Ellsbury takes it past Encarnacion at first, an A-plus for effort from Devin Travis, but Ellsbury beats it out for an infield single, and then Ellsbury would also go and swipe second base in there for his 22nd stolen base of the season. That is a team lead. Gardner still at the plate, 3-1 count now, as he takes that into right field on a line drive, but Sizemore is there, and Ellsbury gives him a run for his money, tests him, and gets into third. So he's on third with one out, brings up Aaron Judge, the three-hole hitter, and he grinds at the Ray as that shortstop. Ellsbury would score on the plate. Yankees jump off to a 1-0 lead. Head to the bottom half of the first now, as Masahiro Tanaka is on the mound for the Yankees, 6-2 with a 1.75 ERA in 10 games started, and he'd be facing Edwin Encarnacion with runner on first. Not going. High and deep to left field. Upper deck home run for Encarnacion. Then later on in the inning, it's a run around first and second. Two outs for Russell Martin, and the Canadian-born catcher goes oppo off the wall. Aaron Judge cannot get to it, and Russell Martin would have himself a stand-up two-RBI double. Jays in the lead, 4-1 to one after the first inning, thanks to Edwin Encarnacion and Russell Martin. But Tanaka would settle down. Bottom half of the second gets down Dalton Pompey to strike out. Head to the top half of the third now. Ronnie Torres comes up, and Mark Burley gets a ground out. Retires Torres, and him and Tanaka would just go back and forth. Bottom half of the third, Tanaka strikes out Andy Dirks with the blazing fastball. To the top of the fourth we go. Tom Ullman at the plate. He'll go down on the sweeping curve. How about some bottom half of the fourth? Grady Sizemore, the former superstar, he goes down swinging. Tanaka gets him to go down, and then it would all change in the top half of the seventh. When Aaron Judge starts things off with a single off the left-handed Burley, he's on first to start off the inning. Next batter up is Brian McCann, the cleanup hitting catcher. He gets a single past Travis at second base, sets up first and second now for the Yankees. Then Tom Ullman comes up the DH, takes a pitch into left field. Sets up bases loaded now for the Yankees. And that would also end Mark Burley's day as he comes out and Steve Delavar comes on for the 25th time this season out of the bullpen. And he'll be facing the pinch hitter Greg Bird with bases loaded and one out, one two count. And Delavar's pitch goes to the backstop. Judge comes in from third, slides, and he's in there with a run. Four to two Yankees now. That's all they get. With the bases loaded, though, so we head to the top half of the eighth now as Kevin Jepsen comes on for the Blue Jays. So Kettle Marte leading off the inning, gets a base hit, Oppo down the line, Donaldson cannot get to it. Marte is on first with a base knock, and Marte, showing off some of his speed, goes and swipes second base for his fifth stolen base of the season, and he's only been up the bigs for a couple weeks, so he's in scoring position with nobody out, Jacoby at the plate. And Jacoby takes a single into right field. They do not test Sizemore, though, as they hold up Marte. So runners on the corners to bring up Brett Gardner. And Brett Gardner draws a four-pitch walk. So we have bases loaded for the Yankees as they bring on Brett Cecil, a left-handed pitcher, to face a right-handed bat of Aaron Judge. Bold move, Kyle. Let's see if it pays off for you. And it does not Judge takes it into right field, two runs score, and the Yankees tie the ball game up as Aaron Judge picks up his third RBI of the game. And we would go to extra innings, free baseball, bottom half of the 10th, Justin Wilson on the mound, and he walks Devin Travis. So Devin Travis is on first to lead off the inning. Jose Reyes up next. He lays down a sack bunt, gets Travis over to second, and they retire Reyes. So one out, Travis on second. Pompey comes up, and Travis takes off for third, swipes it no problemo because McCann has a mental lapse and does not throw to third. So he's on third with two outs now. Edwin Encarnacion draws a walk, so runners on the corners now. 
and the Yankees would bring on the right-handed David Carpenter to face the right-handed bat of Josh Donaldson, but he could just not get the job done as Donaldson takes one into left field for a base knock. Travis scores and the Blue Jays walk off in Rogers Center against the New York Yankees. They improve to 18 and 31 on the season and the Yankees drop to 31 and 20. Edwin Encarnacion picks up player of the game more with a two-run shot back in the first inning, which was an upper-decker absolute monster of a shot. Justin Wilson gets credited with a loss, 1-2 on the season now, while Daniel Norris gets the win. He improves to 2-0 in the Blue Jays' 5-4 win over the Yankees here at Rogers Center. As of that being said, that'll wrap things up here for this edition of Yankees Baseball. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye. Man, it sucks growing up, got a let go of the past Not every childhood friendship is gonna last People grow up and move on for better or worse All we praying for is that it doesn't end in a church We used to go on L rides like the city's hours But now we all got real jobs and shitty hours huh? And those the lucky ones who earn a check The ones who don't sit at home all day and blow Percocets Cause I've seen a lot of people on that path And it sucks cause they almost never come back It's a sad truth, but life is ruthless, right?